Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to teach you another Start Up Oz Day and Night by Chung Sung Hwan. I actually didn't want to do this before, but because a lot of you requested this, and therefore I'm delivering it. And yeah, I'm wearing a hat today. Not because I want to look cool or anything, but because I haven't washed my hair in... I don't know, five days? <laughs> so it's not looking good up there. Here are the chords that we need to know to play the song. Feel free to skip ahead if you already know the fingering position. To play C chord, take our tiny finger and place it on the third fret, the first string. Yeah. After C, we're going to play E minor seven, so middle finger. Put it on the second fret, third string. Ring finger on the second fret too, but on the first string. Yeah. After that, we're going to play C seven, so index finger. Place it on the first fret, first string. After C7, we're going to play A7, so this one, our index finger, put it on the first fret, third string. Yeah, so this is A7, right? This one is C7, this one is A7. After A7, we're going to F chord, yeah. So index finger, put it on the first fret, second string. Middle finger, put it on the second fret, fourth string. Then we go D minor, so this one stays here. And just put our ring finger below our middle finger. D minor. Last chord is G7. So our index finger stays here on the first fret, second string. Middle finger, put it on the second fret, third string. And our ring finger on the second fret, first string. We can play G, but I think G7 sounds better. To sound like the original, we need to put a capo and place it on the 3rd fret here. But like any of my other tutorials, I'm not going to use capo, okay? The chord progression for the intro and the verse is like this. C, D minor 7, C7, seven, A7, seven, F, A7 again, D minor, and G7. Yeah, like that over and over. And we need to strum once for the intro and twice for the verse, okay? Okay, in the chorus, the first part of it, we just need to repeat the same thing. However, later in the second part of the chorus, we're going to do a little bit different, but it's okay, we can follow along directly. Okay, let's play from the chorus. Day. additional chords there. The first one is A minor 7. That's it! A minor 7. Nothing here. And then F minor. So index finger. Put it on the first fret, fourth string. Middle finger on the first fret too, but on the second string. And our tiny finger, put it on the third fret, first string. Second verse. Yeah, 
your tears My heart's so upset The second chorus is the same like the previous chorus So I'm just going to start playing from the second chorus until the bridge, okay? In the bridge, we're just going to play a little bit different Yeah, but it's okay, it's simple Last chorus is the same and then after the last chorus we're going to repeat the music so we're going to do the music thing twice yeah and then that's the end okay So that concludes today's tutorial. I hope you're going to have fun playing this song because it's such a beautiful song. And even until now, I'm still feeling kind of sad for Ji Pyong because he didn't get the girl. He didn't even get the grandma in the end. So I feel sorry for him. He deserves so much better. I'm kind of pissed with the, the writers, okay? But I still like the movie, yeah. <laughs> so anyway, if you like this video, please support me by giving it a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel, okay? Thank you so much for watching and see you soon!